Hello everyone, this is Prithvi once again and I welcome you to the YouTube channel of the Android Bulletin. Uh, well, so today in this uh, video, I'm just going to shoot a very small tutorial about uh, uh, how you can add uh, the exchange or uh, you know the uh, POP email addresses to your uh, Gmail app. So the, uh, the latest uh, Gmail app in the Android Marshmallow basically allows you to add all kind of email addresses and you know that basically uh, uh, is, is a great thing that you know you do not need to download other applications so i basically use a uh, outlook for domain and you know uh, till the last version till the last smartphone i was using i had to download another app called outlook for uh, android and you know that that was basically how i was using my email address on on the on the android phone so but basically this version allows you to add another email addresses uh, which are not even the google account so i'll just uh, tap on uh, the add new account and now you can see all the uh, available options so you can obviously uh, use the accounts which are gmail or the google apps for business accounts you can even use a personal which is imap or the pop accounts or you can have the exchange you know uh, the, the work email address so i basically use the exchange settings for uh, my own personal email id so the moment i click on next it is asking me to enter the email id so i'll just uh, So that's the email id i use and i'll just end up putting in the password so i just done entering the password and i'll just click on next so it is receiving the account information that shouldn't take more than a few seconds well so here we are and so in the server it basically depends on on which server you're using where you are hosting your email addresses so for me it is uh, outlook or hotmail so the server used for this is m.hotmail.com uh, there is nothing else i need to change so i'll just click on next so it, it is just checking for the server and well that's it so it basically has fetched all the information and now you can configure those uh, syn uh, synchronization uh, frequency as well as you know how, how many emails you want to send so you you have the option of uh, having the emails from last day last three days last week last two weeks last month or so every single email which is there in your account so i i actually uh, keep it like last couple of weeks and that that is pretty much enough for you know uh, like me or uh, anyone else so, uh, as well as the synchronization facility sorry the frequency so uh, the push uh, notification or something you know which which is advisable to everyone who is using their you know personal or maybe the work email id uh, email address on, on the mobile uh, so these are obviously the notification settings and whatever you want to synchronize so i do not really need the contacts i really don't need the uh, uh, well that's it uh, i think uh, uh, just the contact so the calendar is something which i need the email is something which we are setting it up for and if, do you want to be notified when the email arrives so well uh, the, the mark is tick the moment i click on next so it is just creating the account and it, it is just fetching the uh, email in the emails which i have on my account so i'll just name it uh, outlook email that's it i just click on next and now it has obviously all uh, you have you know i have successfully added the account and that's like you know pretty much even you can do the same the moment i click on take me to gmail it basically starts synchronizing all the emails i have on the account and uh, well that's it that's it in this video i think it was useful if you find it useful please subscribe to the channel and please let us know your comments in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching and i'll be back with another video